Welcome to Skyscape's free webinar series. Today's topic is Save Time Studying, Nursing Students Take Note-Taking Goes Mobile. I'm Kristen Snowden-Smith from Skyscape and I will be the moderator today. This webinar is being recorded and will be available on demand with a copy of the presentation later this week. Our speaker today is Dr. Tim Bristol. Tim is a faculty and student success specialist. He works with a number of colleges and universities and resides in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Tim has been utilizing technology in the classroom, clinical, and lab setting for over 20 years. His motto is, today we will learn how to learn. I will now hand the floor over to Dr. Bristol. Thank you so much, Kristen, and thank you to everyone joining us, uh, whether you're live uh, online with us or listening via recording. Um, this is a, a really important project, a really important tool that I want to share with you today for a number of different reasons. Um, I like to look at it as uh, your three-step process to success. And, and let me give you some examples here to help you, uh, to help you a, a better understand where we're headed. So for instance, with save time studying, what I'm going to show you is a tool that's going to help you save time studying by making the patient a priority. Okay, it's it's not a it's not a fact it's not as if we're we're giving you a tip or a trick on how to answer a multiple choice question. We're taking you to the bedside, and you're going to find out why this is so important right now in healthcare, especially for nursing, and even more so if you're planning on taking NCLEX. Um, any time in the next uh, three, four years. So, so I'm going to show you how to save time studying by making the patient your focus. I'm going to help you to focus to, on, on knowing what you don't know, okay? And, and this is really important because so many students lose time, are inefficient in their studying by studying a bunch of things that they already know. This is going to help you start to more and more prioritize your learning based around what your needs are right now today. It's going to help you save time, number one. Number two, it's going to get you to that patient need much quicker. And number three, when you find something that you don't know, you do something with it. And I'm going to show you how to do how, what that do something actually looks like. The new NCLEX is all about the doing that comes after critical thinking, and I'm going to show you how that works here. So I'm going to introduce you to um, our, our new third edition, um, Nurse Think for Students, The Notebook. And I'm going to show you the app for The Notebook that you can readily download on your, um, on your uh, handheld device, your iPad, your Android phone, your PC, as a way of helping you save time studying, identifying what you don't know, and then doing something with it. I can't tell you how, in, um, how much of an impact this app can have on the way that you learn, the way that your students learn. We know that when students learn this way, um, many times what will happen is they will start to ask better questions. Many times what will happen is they'll become more efficient. Many times what will happen is we'll notice, notice a change in the clinical setting. And of course, many times what will happen when all this comes into play, you start to see better NCLEX pass rates towards the uh, uh, after graduation. So, um, so as we're looking at the notebook, we're going to be looking through some screenshots specifically from the iPad, but also note that you can also have this on your Android phone, your PC, um, uh, those, those mobile tools or web-based tools that you can get access to. And, and the first thing that I wanna show you is the index. Now, this is really important because the notebook is never meant to be used once. It's meant to be used repeatedly. And so, for instance, you see here, um, you float over oxygenation and the different diseases related to oxygenation appear, such as pulmonary hypertension, cystic fibrosis, COPD, and so on. And so, for instance, let's talk about asthma. Maybe you're in fundamentals, okay, and you're taking notes on oxygenation and you hear about this disease called asthma and your instructor's teaching you how to put on a nasal cannula on a patient and your instructor's going through the different parts of oxygenation. You're going to take notes, maybe in the asthma monograph, and I'll show you that here in just a moment. 
But then you move into med surge next semester, and guess what? Asthma is covered again. And then you move into peds, and asthma is covered yet again. And then you move into community health, and there's asthma again. Because the index is such a quick, easy search, you're going to quickly go back to all the notes you've been taking across the curriculum. Now, here's where it gets really powerful. You don't just use this in class. You don't just use this app when you're reading your textbook. You don't just use this app when you're in, um, in, a, in watching a video. You also use this app as you're prepping for clinical. So you now have a patient today in clinical who has asthma. Guess what? You're going to be able to easily access all the notes that you've taken the past three semesters because they're going to be right there in your app. And you're going to be able to look back and go, oh, that's right. That's what Professor Susan said, or that's what, um, that's what the uh, clinical instructor said in the simulation we did in PEDS with asthma. There's my notes. This helps you save so much time studying because what often happens, a student is like, oh, my goodness, I have a patient tomorrow with asthma. They'll go home, or I have a patient now um, in clinical with asthma. They'll open a book, and they'll start reading. They'll start studying as if they've never heard about asthma before. And you're going to save time studying because now you're going to be seeing the notes that you actually took related to asthma. It's going to not only make, you, make it much easier to care for that patient, it's going to reinforce you now really own that information on asthma. So I'm, I'm quite excited about this index and the quick search feature that's in the app that's going to help you out tremendously. Now, no matter what you're taking notes on, okay, whether it's schizophrenia, whether it's um, pregnancy, whether it's a toddler, whether it's, uh, you fill in the blank, asthma, you're going to take notes the same way. And this is really important because National Council has this new system, this new format, this new description that they call clinical judgment. And clinical judgment is really important right now for a number of reasons. One of the most important reasons that clinical judgment is so vital to you especially as a future nurse is that clinical judgment has been used to address medical errors. It's been used to address the problems showing up in healthcare. And their model of clinical judgment, what they say is clinical judgment is the doing that happens after critical thinking. We know that about 50% of medical errors involve a new nurse. This really scares me on a number of levels. One level is my son, he's a new nurse. And so as we think about clinical judgment, one thing that's important to remember, clinical judgment isn't that you got a question right on an exam. Clinical judgment is what happens when you're standing next to a patient. And, and when you're standing next to a patient, you can't rely solely on, I memorized that Lasix is a diuretic. That's not clinical judgment. That's just pure memorization. What clinical judgment is, is a habit of processing. Can you say the word habit? I'll listen. Good job. I heard about 50 people say the word habit just now. As you say the word habit, be thinking about how do you form a habit? Because clinical judgment is all about a habit of processing that allows you to quickly and effectively care for a patient's priority needs right now. With the Nurse Think Notebook app, you're going to build that habit. You're going to take notes the same way. And every part of the note-taking system points you towards clinical judgment. Let me give you some examples here. So the first thing you'll notice are related concepts, okay? So if we're thinking about, let's say, for instance, oxygenation, gas exchange, asthma, other concepts related to that might be like perfusion or mobility. OK, we're always in compare and contrast mode. Don't just say, OK, asthma, I'm going to memorize everything about asthma. That's not clinical judgment. And that will trip you up, not only when you're taking an exam, especially NCLEX, but when you're caring for a patient. Memorization trips you up. It gives you a false sense of security and puts your focus in the wrong area. 
clinical judgment, this compare and contrast, what is related to oxygenation? Then we talk about the disease itself. Maybe we're talking about asthma. What are other diseases that are similar to asthma? COPD, um, obstruction, respiratory failure, SIDS, not AIDS, I apologize. <laughs> Little typo there, I was taking my notes too quickly. But the idea here is don't just think of asthma in its own bucket. Compare asthma to other diseases that you might know about or discover as you're going through nursing school. And then what you do is you now start to think about where is the clinical judgment in my textbook? Where's the doing part in my textbook when I'm reading, when I'm watching a video, when I'm in clinical, when I'm in class, when I'm in lab, when I'm doing a simulation with my instructor, where is that clinical judgment? Now you're doing this, maybe you're taking notes on your, your Samsung Galaxy phone or your, um, or your iPhone or your iPad. You can also take notes on your PC, okay? And, and with the notes that you take on your iPhone, your, your Android, your iPad, you're gonna wanna make sure that you scroll all the way down and you hit save often, okay? We always save a lot. And then you're gonna back it up. And now what that means is you've got access to your notes anywhere. Or you can open up your PC and take notes in class on your PC. If you prefer to type, that's just fine. But these notes you're taking are going to go with you everywhere, which is important because as you go through the program, as you go through your curriculum, as you move from fundamentals to med surge to peds, you're going to want to be adding to these notes. You're going to want to be enhancing these notes. You're going to want to be adjusting these notes. Let me show you another part of the notes that is super powerful. Um, these notes in the app has what's called smart linking, okay? And, and because the, the smart linking button, um, and you'll see this, I'll, I'll point it out again one more time. Because of the smart linking button, you can quickly get to your other resources. So let's say that you have um, Tabor's uh, Dictionary and you have the Mosby Drug Guide and you have um, uh, the Mosby uh, Lab and Diagnostics all on your phone there. This, this smart linking in Skyscape is going to allow you to quickly access those resources, go back to your notes, enhance based on that. Now, some other things that I want to point out here, when it comes to forming habits, this idea of, this idea of doing this, this repetitively, revisiting this, cannot be overstated. <clears throat> like I said, clinical judgment is not a it's not something you can memorize. It has to be a habit that you form. And so by taking notes the same way, you're gonna form habits and then you're gonna move into the priority area. Now the priority area is very powerful um, and, and it's powerful for a couple of different reasons when it comes to forming habits. Have you ever seen an instructor slide that says priorities of care and then it lists like 20 things? Well, guess what? They have, when, when, when you see that slide, either as a student or an instructor, they, they, have, they have created a list of priorities. That instructor did. Unless you, the student, create that list of priorities, you're not learning to prioritize. You need to constantly be in the mindset of creating your own one, two, three. Whether you're talking about, okay, I'm caring for a patient right now with asthma, what are the top three assessments. What are the top three cues that I need to be thinking about? Well, one of them is going to be the respiratory rate. Is it going up? One's going to be that O2 saturation. One of them is going to be how do the lungs sound? As it sits right now at this moment in time with what we know about asthma, you, you walk into a patient's room. These are the priority things you're going to be looking for right now this moment, okay? And you need to be thinking that way. And, and then when it comes to lab and diagnostics, don't list every lab and diagnostic you possibly could ever think of or dream of. When you go to, when you go to look at the patient's lab reports in the hospital, don't, lo don't look at, at, at everything under the sun. You want to be thinking about what are the priorities right now at this point in time. You're going to be building a habit. The other thing that you're going to build habits with um, in the priority area is going to be things like priority nursing interventions, priority outcomes, um, a priority teaching, you're going to see these priorities. It's going to help you build this habit so that when you walk into that patient's room, okay, here's the end goal, right? The doing part, right? 
clinical judgment is doing when you walk into that patient's room, what's a priority for you to do right now? Is it that assessment piece? Is it look at a lab? Is it the intervention? You're just gonna automatically be thinking of this because no matter what you're studying, no matter what you're studying here, whether it's whether it's caring for a patient with a Foley catheter, caring for a patient struggling with schizophrenia, caring for a patient with restless leg syndrome, no matter what you're studying, you're gonna automatically be thinking this way. Also, part of, each, um, part of each of these areas where you're taking notes, we encourage you to be creative. We encourage you to be creative. And, and this is where you start to, um, and we'll have some of these monographs, uh, these mnemonics in there already. Um, in some of these areas, you can create your own mnemonics. In some of these areas, you might put a link to something. But the idea is under Nurse Think Quick, the idea of this part of the app is that you're, you're creatively pursuing understanding of whatever it is you're studying. That's why I like mnemonics, okay? I, I, can, I can remember mnemonics easily. Now, the mnemonics doesn't replace, doesn't replace forming the habits of clinical judgment. Okay, we got to form those habits, but the mnemonic can help me quickly access information that I might need when I'm standing next to that patient, scratching my head going, why is she still struggling? Why is this person with asthma still struggling? Maybe I want to remember my little mnemonic about uh, Rome when it comes to managing ABGs. Maybe there's something else there. The other part of the, the other part of the app that's very powerful that you're going to see with every single disease process, every single concept, every single exemplar, is that we always point you towards professional competencies. And this is really important, whether it's the NCLEX client needs or the QSIN competencies, this is really important. And here, let me tell you why. QSIN, for instance, was born because patients were getting hurt in the healthcare system. Patients were dying because of errors. Now that National Council has developed this clinical judgment model based on the, the, the problems with safety in healthcare, the number of people getting hurt and dying related to medical errors, Houston is going to become even more important. So let me show you how to use this area. This area, this part of the app is not meant for you to type for you know 20 minutes. It's meant for you to put one sentence, put a few bullets, put a few words. OK, so, for instance, I'm I'm studying asthma right now and um, and I, I took notes, you know, here under patient centered care and teamwork and collaboration. These are some things that came up in lecture. Now I'm in clinical today and I have a patient with asthma and I discovered I discovered from my clinical instructor that, hey, if your patient has a fast heart rate tachycardia, that's a good indication that the patient is hypoxic. And I discovered that because I took the blood pressure pulse and temp and I moved on. And the, and the instructor's like, wait a minute, this patient is tachycardic. How are they doing respiratory wise? And we had this discussion about hypoxia and how the tachycardia could be related to hypoxia. I went back into my notes on my phone I just open up my nurse think notes. I go back to asthma, go back to respiratory, and I type this in. Fast heart rate indicates hypoxia. That discovery is now still with me. Even though I'm moving into the next semester of clinical, the next semester of classes, I'm taking that discovery with me. I'm not leaving it behind on some random piece of paper or with some cool conversation that happened. I'm going to put it in my app. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to back my app up and it is now always with me. Just, just another example. Another area that's really important in the app is what I call accountability. And, and accountability is good for me and it does help me save time studying. When it comes to accountability, what I encourage students to do is just as you're, as you're adding things to your app, as you're adding things to your notebook, you're gonna wanna just, just share it with a buddy. Just share it with a buddy. Hey, BJ, take a look. Hey, Shankar, take a look. Here's what I added related to hypoxia and fast heartbeat. And they're going to be like, oh my gosh, that is such a good point. I'm going to put that into my safety area as well. So there's, there's different ways of tackling this. Oh, the other part is the grade tracker down here. And this is just a, a free text field. 
but it allows me to track how am I doing with a concept. So maybe I opened up my adaptive quizzing and I took a respiratory quiz and, and, and I got a 67% on it, okay? Or I got a, a, a certain level, a certain level, it, whatever it is. I put it in here so that when I, if it happens again and I go back and I look at this grade tracker and, and sure enough, oh yeah, I took that, but I'm doing better on it now or I'm not doing as good on it now. Maybe I need to focus a little bit more. So just a nice place to quickly do this. Now I've shown you a lot in these slides for the app is what's really important for you to understand this is not meant for you to spend hours and hours and hours on respiration spending hours and hours and hours on one thing respiration does not turn it into a habit if anything spend 10 to 15 minutes before class on the concept respiration oxygenation maybe asthma then during class add a few more bullets to it then in clinical, add a few more bullets to it. Don't spend hours and hours and hours. What you want to do is frequently revisit, not spending hours pouring over it and trying to come up with the exact perfect right answer. The perfect right answer is the fact that you did it. I often equate this to me trying to work out. I say trying, being being a, a, a upper, upper middle-aged man that, that has way too much time in a chair uh, typing and working and writing and all those things. I need to be on my feet more. I need to be running around uh, more. I need to be exercising more. What's the right answer? Get up and get up and go hit the elliptical, hit the exercise bike. Just reading about it is not going to help me one bit. Studying it is not going to help me one bit unless I'm doing it. The same thing with the Nurse Think Notebook app. You're going to want to be doing it no matter where you're at. You're going to want to be doing it. And here's that save notes button. So important. So important. Hit save, then go back up, back up to the internet. That way you can get to it on your phone, your, your, your PC, your Mac, whatever. You also can export it to a PDF and print it out on a sheet of paper. If you're in a clinical experience and they're like, absolutely not, you can't bring your iPad or, um, or maybe your instructor wants it on paper. Maybe your instructor wants you to show up to clinical with that note printed out, you know, and go ahead and export it to a PDF, go ahead and print it and away you go. So it's a very powerful tool um, that way. Now, the other nice thing about the notebook app is it's going to keep, it's going to keep track of your history. Now your history is rather limited to what, what's recently happened, but you can be like, oh yeah, that's right. There's conjunctivitis and you quickly go back to it. The bookmarks, though, the bookmarks are really nice because when you bookmark something, when you bookmark one of your note pages, it stays bookmarked forever. Now, if you get 200 bookmarks there, that might get a little cumbersome to uh, manage. But the history and the bookmark, very powerful. And then comes the smart linking that I was referring to earlier. Um, remember, this, this smart link button, you just simply click on the compass here. And it takes you to the other books that you've purchased in Skyscape that you have on your app. It takes you to those other books and you can quickly look up these concepts, these diseases. You can quickly grab a few little bits of information. Again, I don't encourage you to, to, to spend hours and hours and hours. I encourage you to make this a habit. And if anything, you know, go ahead and put that page number. Um, in your in your notes so you can quickly get back to it. It's the it's the repeated repetition of this process that really is going to help you out the most. Now, I talked to you for just a moment earlier about knowing what you don't know. And and one thing, one mistake that students make, a, a lot of students will practice their, um, you know, and, and Skyscape has some fantastic um, some fantastic NCLEX review guides, question banks, that sort of thing. Um, and, and you take your practice quiz or your adaptive quizzing or whatever it is, you take your practice one and you get a question wrong and you just read over the rationale for the right answer. Guess what? That is a very ineffective way to study. Let me explain. Number one, you just took a question on that concept. When you read the rationale for it, and, and all you do is read, what's gonna happen is you're gonna trick yourself into going, oh yeah, I knew that. Have you ever said that to yourself? Oh yeah, I knew that. Faculty, have you ever had a student in your office after an exam, they missed question 38 and you show them the right answer and they're like, oh yeah, I knew that. Or we even knew that they knew that, right? This recognition 
fools you into thinking that you know it. You don't know it. When you get a question wrong on a practice quiz, when you discover that you did something wrong, when you, when you get feedback on that simulation and you missed a, co a concept, you missed an activity, you missed an action, you're gonna wanna go to your notebook app, open up that concept, that activity, that action, that disease, whatever it is, and jot down just two or three bullets, two or three words, if anything. Do nurse think. You've got to do it. It can't just be, I read it, I'm good to go, I'm gonna remember it next time, because the fact is, and I've been studying education and nursing for many, many years, the fact is, you're recognizing you don't know it. And so it's really important that you do that part of it, okay? And then go back often and revisit when it comes up again and, and take note of how you're growing in that area. Every time you look back, every time you look back and you see your notes, you see what you've created, you're totally reinforcing all of this. You're totally reinforcing all of this and you're making it a part of yourself, if you will, as a professional nurse. Nurse Think is all about clinical judgment. And the Nurse Think Notebook app allows you to build a habit of clinical judgment. It's gonna help you on your next exam, it's gonna help you on NCLEX, but most importantly, you're taking notes as if you were a nurse standing next to a patient. Because when you're standing next to that patient, that's when the clinical judgment really matters. I'm gonna turn it over to Kristen here now. I think she's got a few comments for us. Hi, Tim. Um, yes, we have a couple of questions here, and anyone else who'd like to add, if you haven't already, you can uh, enter your questions in the chat screen, and we will get to as many as we can. Um, a couple that have come through while you've been speaking. Um, do I need to change my lesson planning to use this tool? Lesson planning. Okay, so I assume this is probably an instructor asking about, um, I'm, I'm going to implement the notebook app, maybe maybe have it um, uh, as one of the uh, textbooks, if you will. Do I need to change anything in class? And the answer is no. The, the, the correct answer is no, because the stu it's about the students learning. It's about the students um, building that habit of clinical judgment, doing something with what they hear you as the instructor talking about. And, and what, no matter what textbook they're using, no matter how you lecture, no matter how you manage class, no matter how you manage your lab, the students can still develop this habit of learning, this habit of clinical judgment that they can take with them. Now, here's, here's the cool part of it. Um, the students will now start to ask different questions when they're using the notebook app in class. So this is where this is where you will notice a difference there. They're going to be asking you more questions about prioritization. They're going to be asking you more questions about safety and about um, those those priorities of care that, that we see in the client needs and the cues and competencies. They're going to be asking you more about, you know, what how are these connected? as opposed to you know, just asking you more lower level questions. So you will see that as a difference when, when students are using the notebook app in your class. Good question. Thank you, Tim. Uh, next question, um, what semester is best for implementing the notebook app? Well, it, class. yeah, um, probably the best semester is let students start using the notebook app, make it a required text early in the curriculum, preferably foundations, fundamentals of nursing, because, okay, the, be the best, uh, the most important class in the entire nursing curriculum, according to the NCLEX people, National Council State Boards of Nursing, according to the NCLEX people, the most important class in the entire curriculum is, drum roll please, fundamentals, foundations of nursing. And so if the students can start building their notes in that class, it's gonna, they're gonna take it with them. They're gonna take fundamentals and foundations with them because they're gonna use the app in every lecture, every clinical, every lab until the day they take NCLEX. Now, uh, my co-author Karen, Cheryl and I have seen the app, uh, the notebook used in many different environments, many different classes, even being used for NCLEX prep and it has been effective. 
But, uh, but what we always hear from the students and the faculty, oh, wish we could have started using this earlier. It would have saved us a lot of time over the past couple semesters. It would have been, our studying would have gone better over the past couple semesters. So fundamentals, foundations, perfect. Thank you, Tim. Um, this comes from, I'm assuming, a student. How does this help me save time studying? Um, so one, um, I've been studying students studying for many, many years, a uh, couple decades now, and students unfortunately have a really hard time figuring out what's most important. And so students like nurses, like nurse educators, think that everything is important and more is better. The problem is, according to our research and practice, prioritization is becoming more and more tricky for the new nurse to the to the point where I, I said earlier uh, um, uh, over 50 percent of medical errors involve a new nurse now th what this means is if you can start early prioritizing your studying prioritize the information you're looking at asking yourself what if I was a nurse standing next to this patient right now, what would I absolutely need to focus on? That right there helps you save time studying. So it's not only prioritizing assessments, prioritizing interventions, prioritizing meds and labs and all those different things. It's also prioritizing what are you gonna spend time focusing on? And, and this really gets you started asking good questions. And by the time you get through a couple weeks of using the notebook app, you're gonna find out that you you know what questions to ask much quicker, and you're, you're getting to the right answer much quicker. And so that really helps you save time studying. Students waste so much time studying by trying to memorize everything, trying to write down everything, thinking that everything on every page is absolutely vital. And the app is gonna help you figure out what truly is needed when you're taking care of a patient. Great question. Any other questions floating around? I see the cursor flashing. I don't know. Let's see. Are you there, Kristen? <laughs> sorry, I was muted. I'm sorry. Oh, no worries. A um, uh, question we have is, if I take notes on my smartphone or tablet, how do they get to the website, the web app. Oh, okay, I'll go back and just show you that screen real quick here. Where did it go? Right here. Okay, so you're taking notes on you know, your tablet, your iPad, your phone, and down here at the bottom you hit save notes. That's important, do that often. So it gets saved to your device, and then you basically back up. Um, the little cloud up here with the two arrows back up. And when you do that, it's now going to make those notes accessible. Um, right here um, on any any web any uh, internet browser you can get to it you can log into your notes you can have your notes there it's it's readily uh, readily accessible so good question so it, it, it all backs up it's saved you can access it in different places and this is so important because it's going to when you go to clinical and you see your notes from the classroom oh my gosh it helps you remember that classroom learning so much Instructors, this helps your students save so much time um, because when they go, like let's say they studied asthma in med surge and now they're in peds, it's not like they're starting over with a brand new clean notebook. They instantly start, compare and contrast, what did I learn in med surge about asthma, in foundations about asthma compared to what am I learning right now in pharmacology about asthma, what am I learning in pediatrics about asthma? That compare and contrast makes the learning in all those different classes even that much more effective, enduring, and of course, building that habit of clinical judgment. So very powerful way to learn. Good question. Um, one question, another question we have is, how do you get around f facilities that don't allow devices? Oh, 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 like clinical facilities, I would assume. Does that sound right? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, and so uh, a couple things come into play here. Um, you know, first of all, keep your phone, keep your iPad in your backpack locked in the nurse's break room or wherever you can access it. Um, and then, you know, do that quick, that quick review. Um, and then also you can print to a PDF. You can create that PDF. So this, you know, if you know you're having a patient with asthma or, or you did have a patient today with asthma, and maybe you're now in post-conference, you can get to that PDF, that document, you know, take a look, make notes, compare and contrast. Um, it's still a really, a really powerful way to learn. A lot of times units that won't let us bring our devices will let us log in online and, and you know, use their, their computer, their, their workstation and log in and log into your notes and take a peek, drop in a few extra notes. Make sure you save, make sure you back up and restore. I'm sorry, just back up. Um, but, but yeah, this, this really does help uh, tremendously. Just, just talk with your unit, make sure they know what you're doing. Another uh, student question is, um, I'm almost done with block three and I only have one more block peds in critical care. Would this be beneficial to me without having to go backwards to block one to enter in all my old notes? Absolutely, it will be beneficial for two reasons. The first and the most important reason is um, NCLEX is not far away for you. And we know that this emphasis on clinical judgment, even though it's still multiple choice questions, select all that apply, rank order, it, this emphasis on clinical judgment is growing. And so for you to spend this next semester, this summer, these next few months focusing on developing your personal clinical judgment muscle, which every time you fill one of these out, whether it's the first time or the 10th time, every time you fill one of these out, this becomes more of a habit. OK, you're going to you're going to you're going to get better and better at this clinical judgment piece. You're going to be more ready for NCLEX. And most importantly, you're going to be more ready for the bedside for caring for those patients. That's number one. Number two, there's still gonna be some crossover. Let's, for instance, maybe you're studying um, uh, sudden infant death, maybe you're studying asthma, asthma in the child, any of those areas, and you're just taking a few minutes in the notebook app, the Nurse Think Notebook app, you're taking a few minutes, jot down a few bullets. Now, let's say you're doing one of your practice exams and you get a question wrong on childhood asthma. You go into your notebook app, boom, there's your notes that you took from class. Add a few more notes, add a few more bullets, and, and, and it goes on. Or maybe you're now in your critical care class, and there's a patient in the ICU with, the, with serious asthma exacerbation. And, and you go back to your notes, you started asthma, pediatric focus, but you go back to your notes, and now you're comparing contrast, okay? Everybody write that, that down, compare and contrast. Can you write that down for me? Now you're doing compare and contrast between asthma in that pediatric situation and asthma in that critical care situation. And this is gonna make your learning in both those areas that much better, that much more effective, that much more enduring so that you can have it available to you on the NCLEX in the clinical setting. So great question, great question. Okay, a couple more questions if you wanna forward to the next slide, Tim. Absolutely, yep. So a uh, couple people have asked uh, how to get the app. So the app is available for purchase at skyscape.com. Uh, you can just search Nurse Think and you can choose your option. It's available just as an app, it's available as app, and you can also get the print version. There's also some bundling with some of the uh, Saunders Comprehensive Review for NCLEX RN and PN bundles. Um, basically, if you purchase the app, you'll have it right away. If you purchase the app in the book, the book will ship to you. Uh, the purchase price for the app only is $37.99, and the purchase price for the book and bundle is uh, book and app bundle is $79.99. Um, we are offering a um, discount to folks that are attending this webinar. You want to go to the next slide, Tim? Here we go. Um, so this is the 
the NCLEX bundles. So if you go to skyscape.com, when you check out, you enter webinar 42, you can save 10% off the bundles. Um, so I think that answers those questions. If you have a uh, institution or school that's interested in purchasing in bulk, you can email our sales department at sales at skyscape.com. You want to go to the next slide, Tim? Here we go. So um, I think that pretty much wraps up our webinar. So I want to thank everyone for attending our webinar. If you want to learn more about our solutions, group savings, including webinar special savings, email sales at skyscape.com. Uh, as I said before, the Nurse Think Notebook bundles can be found at skyscape.com. Go to there, search Nurse Think, and save 10% with webinar 42. Um, if you want additional tips on the Nurse Think for Students Notebook, nursethink.com has a lot of uh, videos and other tips and tutorials. If you'd like to learn more about Skyscape as your partner in nursing education, visit skyscape.com slash education. This webinar will be available in the coming days at skyscape.com slash webinars 2019. Everyone who has attended will get an email with that information, and anyone who registered and was not able to attend will also get an email. You're welcome to share it with your friends and colleagues. Any questions that come to mind after the webinar, if you choose to watch it again, you can email webinar at skyscape.com. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.